Everyone is talking about two political forces that operate in the world today. Globalization and nationalism. People who like globalization are said to be open to the world. They like free trade and free markets. People who like nationalism are closed off. They want to protect their own kind from market forces and immigration. In other words, the political choice that we're constantly told to make is between politicians like Hillary Clinton, Emmanuel Macron and Tony Blair on the one side and Narendra Modi, Nigel Farage and Donald Trump on the other. Internationalism, however, has always recognised that this is a false choice. Nationalism and globalisation aren't actually opposed to each other, they work together to immiserate people. Internationalism opposes this by building solidarity between the oppressed. You see it in the Cuban Revolution, which has seen doctors and troops mobilised from Angola to Haiti to help poor countries fight imperialism. In the Scottish workers who refused to mend Chilean military planes in 73 to support the campaign against General Pinochet. In the World Social Forum, which brings together movements to share ideas and debate strategy. Since 1973, we've used an internationalist perspective to make sense of the world. Now we're doing more. Two years ago, 3,000 readers bought shares in the new internationalist cooperative. We used that investment to produce a new bi-monthly magazine. As a result, we've seen an uptick in our print subscribers. But in a media landscape where publications are shutting down pretty much everywhere, we need to reach new audiences to survive and to grow. So we're boosting our digital presence. A new podcast, Contested Legacies, looks at the lives of people like Gandhi, Rosa Luxemburg and Chavez to work out what lessons we can learn from the past. We're commissioning investigations on our website in places forgotten by the mainstream. And we're covering breaking news on social movements. More importantly though, we need to do the hard thinking about what internationalism means today. In a world no longer divided between the colonizer and the colonized, when once poor nations like China and India are keeping the world economy afloat, and as climate change undoes our assumptions about how to lift people out of poverty. So, alongside that short-lived gym membership, do something else with your New Year's resolution. Help us create a 21st century internationalism.